vaccines. You remember those shots that you dreaded when you went to the doctor as a kid? They kept you from getting the measles and other diseases and have already saved billions of lives around the world. But did you know that biotechnology is now making vaccines that can help prevent cancer or can even be delivered in the form of a mist? These life-saving vaccines just got even better. Hi, I'm Dr. David Targan and welcome to BioBytes. Let's start at the beginning. What exactly is a vaccine? A vaccine helps your immune system to fight disease. Often, a vaccine contains a significantly weakened or dead form of a bacterium or virus. When the vaccine is introduced into the body, the immune system responds by producing disease-fighting antibodies. Routine vaccinations prevent diseases like measles, mumps, and rubella. But more recently, biotechnology has created vaccines that help prevent deadly diseases like cancer. The recently introduced HPV vaccine helps prevent infection with the strains of human papillomavirus that cause most cases of cervical cancer. And vaccine manufacturing has advanced tremendously in recent years. Most new vaccines, like the HPV vaccine, only use a few proteins from the bacterium or virus surface. These are called antigens. Scientists replicate these proteins by altering living cells, such as yeast cells, so that these cells make the proteins. This method is a significant breakthrough because large amounts of vaccine can be produced in a new and innovative way. Biotechnology researchers have also successfully developed vaccines for hepatitis B and many causes of meningitis using only antigens from the virus and bacterium. Biotechnology innovation is also advancing vaccine delivery methods. Most traditional vaccines require refrigeration and syringes for injection and other special handling. In the United States, this usually isn't a problem, but the need for special handling has limited the availability of vaccination in many developing countries. Biotechnology researchers are developing edible vaccines in plants, such as bananas and potatoes, which immunize against diseases such as hepatitis B and human papillomavirus. These vaccines are currently in various stages of testing. Even in the U.S., it is hoped that creating easier vaccination delivery methods will increase rates of vaccination. With the introduction of a flu vaccine delivered by a nasal spray, individuals 2 to 49 years of age can now significantly reduce their risk of getting some types of flu each winter without the need for an injection. Whether helping to prevent an achy throat, a runny nose, and even cancer, or bring vaccinations to developing nations, biotechnology advances in the world of vaccines are finding ways to make the world a little healthier every day. For BioBytes, I'm Dr. David Targan.